We've had inklings that Donald Trump is afraid to go up against Bernie Sanders in 2020, but now we have confirmation straight from the horse's mouth that there is one candidate who frightens Donald Trump. It is Bernard Sanders. So this is what he said in leaked audio. They, the, Bernie they Sanders, huh? about it. They, they rigged it. Bernie, Bernie would have beat Hillary in the right now. Jeez, he that has, would have been tougher. Yeah, because I agree. Because there was no hatred. Right, you're right. There right. was no hatred. The millennials, right. millennials were right. Okay, but she, but she, as great as he was, half my motivation in working was <laughs> not let her do 100%. it. 100%. Right. Yeah. And that, that, that's why I think a big part of our vice is, president would have been tougher. Yeah, yeah, her, but, yeah Kane was what yeah. I couldn't. But I think that Bernie, you know, because all those people that hated her so much who mm -hmm. voted for me, you know, I got 20% of Bernie vote. People don't rule us because of trade, because he's a big trade guy. You know, he basically says we're getting screwed on trade. <coughs> and he's right. I'm worse than he is. But, and we can do something about it. I don't know if he could have. But, um, had she picked Bernie Sanders, it would have been tougher. Mm -hmm. It was the only one I didn't want her to pick. Mm -hmm. Now, then. So there you have it. Donald Trump is afraid to go up against Bernie Sanders. Now, this is important because it tells us that out of all of the Democrats, Donald Trump is communicating that he doesn't necessarily know how to fight against Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders undercuts the appeal that Donald Trump has when it comes to the issue of trade. And he's saying here the only person who he was frightened to go up against in 2016 was Hillary if Bernie we're the running mate. So let's say, hypothetically speaking, that Bernie is the nominee and he's going head to head against Bernie Sanders, not as a running mate, but as a direct competitor. Donald Trump is communicating that he doesn't know how to go up against Bernie Sanders. He's afraid it's going to be much tougher. He probably thinks that he can win, but he's admitting here it's going to be a lot more tougher. Now, there have been reports that Donald Trump doesn't necessarily want to go up against socialism because he doesn't know how to counter that appeal. Canceling student debt, right? Uh, free college. These are things that are difficult to run against. So here's the thing. This isn't just about Donald Trump and, you know, us being able, members of the Brotherhood of the Bernard, being able to boast and say, I told you so. This is a really strong message to Democrats who claim to want to defeat Donald Trump, and that's their number one priority. Here you have an incumbent president admitting on tape that he does not want to go up against someone primarily because he doesn't know how to argue against what Bernie Sanders is offering. Will Democrats unite behind the person who is strongest to take on Donald Trump, who even Donald Trump is afraid of? Or will they continue to push more moderates like Joe Biden, who is clearly unhinged, who doesn't have a good argument that appeals to the working class, or someone like Amy Klobuchar or Pete Buttigieg, who can't actually turn out disaffected non-voters? No, the answer is, it's Bernie Sanders. He is the strongest person to take on Donald Trump. Now, as Bernie Sanders surges... The establishment is going to inadvertently reveal their cards because if they don't unite behind Bernie Sanders willingly, then everything that they told us about us needing to unite behind the eventual front runner and all of this talk of unity was bogus. So they are going to delegitimize themselves if they do not back Bernie Sanders because now we have straight from the horse's mouth, Donald Trump is saying, I don't want to run against Bernie Sanders because it's going to be tougher. Primarily because Donald Trump, who will be making the case against the Democratic Party nominee, doesn't know how to argue against Bernie Sanders. Will Democrats actually take up this unique opportunity to win back the White House? Or will they choose to try to fight Bernie Sanders? I think we all know the answer. So this isn't really revealing about Donald Trump. Because we already knew that Donald Trump didn't want to run against Bernie Sanders. That's why he, oftentimes he bites his tongue and doesn't attack Bernie Sanders. But this tells us more about the establishment than anything. Because when we know definitively that Donald Trump does not want to go up against Bernie Sanders and the people who have been screaming the loudest that we need to unite so we can take on Donald Trump and we need the strongest Democrat to go, on, go up against Donald Trump aren't uniting behind Bernie. I mean, it tells you everything you need to know about them. This talk of unity was a scam. The Democratic establishment, they are frauds. And if they were truly committed to wanting to defeat Donald Trump, 
they would be trying to not tip the scales in favor of someone like Joe Biden, who would be incredibly weak against Donald Trump. We all know it. I can't argue against the polling currently, but I think that people realize that this individual is unhinged and increasingly as time goes on, he's showing why he's not the strongest person to take on Donald Trump. It's obvious that it's Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders is the antithesis of Donald Trump, as T.I. put it. Any appeal that Donald Trump has... Bernie undercuts that appeal. So for all of this rationalizations as to why it shouldn't be Bernie Sanders, now we have evidence that it is Bernie. We were correct. It's Bernie. He's the one who Democrats want to take on Donald Trump if they truly want to win. But the fact that they're not uniting behind Bernie Sanders tells you everything that we need to know. They're frauds. They don't really care about defeating Donald Trump. This is about protecting the uh, gravy train. The Humanist Report is fake news. Mike only cares about Crazy Bernie and his wacky socialist ideas. Sad, very sad. I'm unsubscribing.